Welcome to our lecture online. In order to explain how to multiply complex numbers, it's better to simply show an example. So here we have the product of two complex numbers, and in essence, it is the same as multiplying two binomials. So we're going to use the same technique. We're going to take each term of the first binomial and multiply times each of the two terms in the second binomial. So multiply this times this, and this times that. We do the same with the second term. We multiply it times each of the two terms in the second binomial. So in essence, we have four products now. So when we multiply, we get the following. We get 3 times 5, which is 15, and 3 times 6i, which is plus 18i, negative 2i times 5, which is negative 10i, and a negative 2i times a positive 6i, I'm going to write it like this, plus a negative 2i times a positive 6i, like this. And the reason why I did that is because it's a little tricky when we multiply two imaginary numbers together. So here we can see that we can simplify these two terms, so this becomes equal to 15, 18 minus 10 is plus 8i, plus, but now, we have the product of these two right here. So in essence, we have negative 2 times 6, which is negative 12. And then we have an i times i, which is i squared. So let me write it like that as an intermediate, intermediary step. And then we realize that i squared is the same as negative 1. So this becomes 15 plus 8i plus a negative 12 multiply times a negative 1, of course, that becomes equal to a positive 12. So this 15 plus 8i plus a positive 12, and then we add 15 and 12 together, so this is equal to 27 plus 8i. So notice that the result of a product of two complex numbers gives you another complex number. So again, we multiply each of the two terms of the first binomial times each of the two terms of the second binomial, so we end up with four products. 15 plus 18i minus 10i plus the product of the last two. That would be minus 2i and the 6i. So we multiply the two numbers together, the two coefficients. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And then we add the two imaginary parts together. i times i gives you i squared. And of course, i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 12 is a positive 12. Add that to the 15 to get 27. And then we add the two middle terms together. You end up with the complex, the imaginary part of the complex number. And that is how it's done. Ah, okay, in the same, in the same video? Sure. sure, okay. So now for those who feel more comfortable doing it like this, let's do it in a vertical sense. So let's write it as 3, oop, not plus, but minus 2i, minus 2i, and we're going to multiply that times 5 plus 6i, like this. So we take this term times this term. 6 times a negative 2 is negative 12, times i times i, which is i squared. So we get negative 12 times i squared. 6i times 3, that gives us plus 18i. 5 times a negative 2i gives us a negative 10i, and 5 times 3 gives us a plus 15. Now we add all those together. On the left side we get 15, plus 18 minus 10 gives us plus 8i, and over here we get a minus 12 i squared. But then we realize that i squared is a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 12. So that's the same as 15 plus 8i plus 12. And then we add the 12 and the 15 together. This is equal to 27 plus 8i. And of course, we should get the same answer as we got before. But you can see you can also do this in a vertical way. And that is also how it's done.